going to be power here tonight. Amen. Somebody who the devil have put off your light. Yes. That light is about to shine again. Amen. I said somebody who the devil, whom the devil have tampered with his or her life. Okay, 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 okay. My God is about to make your light to shine again. Amen. One thing about light is that every light is controlled. Yes, sir. Every light you see is controlled, either yes. by a switch or by a socket. Yes, sir. What the devil does is that he goes straight to the socket and put it off. Yes. Then when your light is off, life becomes a struggle. Life becomes frustrated. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is anyone that is going through frustration in life, it's because your light has been put off. Yes, sir. It's because your light is off. Yes. When lights are put off, frustration sets in. Yes. When frustration comes in, isolation comes. Yes. When a man is isolated, depression comes. Yes. When depression comes, oppression and obsession come. Yes, sir. When obsession and oppression comes, suicide. God forbid, sir. I'm doing a very mini book that will soon come out. Why people commit suicide. There is no need. Every suicide is traceable to a light that has been put off. Yes, sir. When the devil puts off your light, your light, you don't see anything interesting about the world again. Yes. And you begin to think of suicide. The other day, I was entering the church. I saw a woman sat on the floor by the altar with a young girl of about 13, 14. That young girl is no less than 15 years. The young girl was lying down on the floor in the church, our church. Our church. The woman was seated on the floor. And I saw three, four, five people standing around the woman. The girl locked herself in her room, took Novan and killed herself. The little girl committed suicide. Her lifeless body was lying down on the altar when I came in. I looked at the girl. I went out and wept. I first left them. I went out and I wept. Why will a little girl with a great future like this thought of terminating her life? Ladies and gentlemen, you will discover it's not her fault. Something put off her light. Yes, sir. Really, her light was put up. She saw no reasons for living again. Yes. She went and committed suicide. I couldn't pray any prayer. I cried for mercy, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy until I was tired. I went upstairs. They buried her already. That's why programs like this are very, very important that you need to come and learn. I will soon teach you a few things. Then I would put on the switch. I would just go put on the switch. Amen. Eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> if the devil can put off the switch, I can put on the switch. Amen. And from this service tonight, your light must shine. Amen. like to thank the pastor our senior pastor here pastor Elijah Ashido and his wife Hallelujah. for a great work here great work I've not been here throughout the year since the day we inaugurated this church this, this second no 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 I, I came to preach again sometime within the year. I was here again. I think I've been here this year. This is like this is like my second time or third time this year. Third time, right? The church is very neat. Hallelujah. The spiritual 
the spiritual environment of the church is saturated with power. Hallelujah. And as men of God, as men of God, anywhere we enter, we check the spiritual environment. Hallelujah. We use the spiritometer right. to check the environment. I hear you, sir. There is power here. Somebody yes. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If, there, if the environment is not clear, you will worship, oh, you will do, 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 to bring down an iota of anointing. Iota. But when you enter an environment where God already dwells, man, somebody climbed our altar in the church here. The man is a man of the spirit. Immediately climbed, he said, Kai! Pastor, I go. No wonder you didn't enjoy here. Something there here. Yes. <laughs> Something there here. The atmosphere is already charged. Prayer, power. And so, with little impute, you just see things happening. I'm not surprised when praise and worship was going on and the ear of that girl popped open. Correct. It's the spiritual environment. Yes, sir. That testimony is a proof that the environment is charged. Yes. Is power charged. Yes, sir. Is power power. Yes, sir. Our, all our churches across the nations of the world. Anywhere you see modem, enter the miracle is flowing. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not because we are good, but God has already triggered something. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. One of our churches, I think last Sunday, or is it last Sunday or yesterday, they're telling us that people were dropping clutches everywhere. Pa, 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 people were dropping clutches. Pa, 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 pa. The spiritual environment is sharp. Yes. You will see miracle here today. Amen. You are not saying an amen. Amen. We only do something very small. Then the miracle will start raining. Yes, sir. So that by tomorrow, when you go home, yes. when people see your miracle, without you inviting them, they will follow you here tomorrow. Amen. You are not saying an amen to that. There's a conversation I love in the Bible so much. John chapter 1 verse 46 and 47. The Bible says, I'm Philip found Nathaniel. And he said, Nathaniel, I have seen the one that was spoken by the prophet Moses. That the Messiah has come. And Nathaniel turned and looked at Philip. You say the man that you're talking about is from Nazareth? Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Yes, sir. And anything good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you know why the man made that statement? Can I teach you today? Yes, sir. <laughs> can I tell you why Nathaniel said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Can I teach you? Yes, sir. Nathaniel made that statement because of the failure of Samson. Mm. After Samson fell, Nazareth was forgotten. Judges chapter 13 verse 5. The angel said to the mother of Samson, he said, look, this little child that you are carrying is a Nazarite. And the child is coming to deliver the Philistine. Judges 13 5. Judges 13 7, the mother of Samson was talking to her husband, Menor. He said, look, the child I'm about to give birth to, the child is a Nazarite to the car. By spiritual positioning and implication, yes. Nazareth was supposed to be the city that the deliverer was supposed to come from. Yes. And that deliverer was Samson. So Samson came and messed himself up. Samson came and met the Terminator. He did and did and did and did and did and did and did until he met Terminator by the name called Delilah. When Delilah terminated the life of Samson, Nazarite was forgotten. So generations that were coming after Samson failed, when a generation is coming, the father will tell that children, hmm, this city called Nazareth, hmm, a savior came from there, but he didn't know, mesmerized the city. So everybody came out with the conception or with the perception that nothing good can come out of Nazareth. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah. The 
as savior of the world. Hallelujah. It's called Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. It's called Jesus of Nazareth. If you want to know what happened, it's in Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2 verse 19 to 21. The Bible says when Joseph came back from Egypt. Matthew 2, 19 to 21. When Joseph came back from Egypt, after they ran because of Herod, when they came back, the plan of Joseph was to go back to their city, Israel, in Jerusalem, where they were living before. But he said, when he discovered that Herod was dead, that the son of Herod took over the city, and that song could come after the life of Jesus again. Joseph took the boy to Nazareth to fulfill prophecy. Oh, Bethlehem, Judah. Of Nazareth. The smallest city, but the king came out from it. Hallelujah. Hear me. I told you this story to make one prophecy. I don't know who the devil have used to mesmerize mm. the destiny of your family. I don't know the person that the devil used to put off the light of your family. Fire. But if I don't be a servant of God, yes. if I be called of God, yes. if the light of Nazareth can shine again, then your own light can shine again. Then the light of your family can shine again. Then the light of your destiny can shine again. It doesn't matter who has put off your light. I have come by the Spirit of God to put on that light today. That's the mystery. Yes. So when Nathaniel said, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I love the reply of Philip. John 4, 46 and 47. Philip said to Nathaniel, well, I don't need to explain to you. Come and see. 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 Ah, you, you only be a fool when you see and you doubt. Yes, sir. When you see proofs, you will only be a fool to doubt proofs. Sir. It's only fools that doubt proofs. Yes, sir. Philip didn't try to convince Nathaniel. He only said, come and see. Can I prophesy? Professor. This prophecy is for seven people. It's for me, sir. It's for seven people. It's for me, sir. After tonight, uh, your miracle will draw many to Jesus. Amen. Somebody is about to share the testimony of come and see. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stretch forth your hands towards the altar. Oh God, by the grace upon your servant, put on my light for me. Amen. My light of finances, my Amen. light of my body, my Amen. light of my family, put Amen. on those lights. Yes. Put on Jesus. Put yes. on those lights. Yes. Put on those lights. Yes. Take her down. Yes. Stop her down. Yes. Stop her down. Take her down. In the name of Jesus, your light is coming on. Power in the name of Jesus. Put on my light. 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 Put 
even leave the phone on, you call, they won't pick. They can decide not to reply your text message. You send text, send one, send one, send one. You WhatsApp them, they won't reply. You message them, they won't reply. You even send people to them. People are afraid to deliver the message to them. But I want to assess them for you. Amen. No matter how strong a man is, you can't close the door to your dream against me. Yes. If I can't assess you physically, I assess you in your dream. Yes, sir. If you refuse to pick my call, you will pick my dream. Yes, sir. No rich man has the key to his dream. Yes. That one is in the hand of my God. Amen. And I am in charge of that one. Amen. I decree tonight. I receive. Your helpers, wherever they are, Amen. you will appear in their dream. I said you will appear in their dream. Implication is a man of God. Yes, sir. There is a man that was afraid to help Paul. The God assessed him through his dream. Paul would have been blind for the rest of his life if not for the assessing of Ananias through the dream. Even through the dream, Ananias was still arguing. Why must I help him? God said, Help him. He said, No. Why must I? God said, If you don't help him, I'll deal with you. Your Help us we be under compulsion to help you from today. Amen. This is the reason why God sent me here. Yes. I was praying concerning this meeting this afternoon and I see frustration. I saw frustration. I saw people frustrated. And the Lord said to me, my son, these people are frustrated. And I said, Daddy, why? He said, their lights are off. He said, their lights are off. Physically, by tomorrow, Pastor, I'm going to give you money. You get more bulbs. Light up the entire church. Light Amen. up. Hallelujah. Light up the entire church. Physically now. Light up outside. Light up everywhere. Oh, my church, you will know God called me this night. You will know. Too. Amen. Some of you. Some of you, by the kind of visitations you'll be having today, Amen. from tomorrow, people who laughed at you will come and bow to you. Amen. Take your seat. Let me teach you something. Hallelujah. Let me teach you on what I titled the mystery of light. The mystery of what? Tell somebody the mystery of light. From creation, God created every man well lighted up. I will define light. God created every man heavily lighted. The word light in this context signifies glory. The word light signifies what? Jesus looked at the people. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. He began from verse 13. He said, he had the salt of the earth. He said, but when the salt loses its savour, the salt is good for nothing. Then he went to verse 15. He looked at the people. He said, ye are the light of the world. Not the light of Makodi. He said, you are the light of the world. Not the light of Benue. Do you know if your life and destiny and everything you are worth of end up in Benue State, you are a failure. No matter how physically well you think you are, you are a failure. You didn't fulfill destiny. If your life or the impact of your life end up in Nigeria, you are a failure. If it ends up in Africa, sir, you are a failure. I will talk to you tonight. 
created all his children as a global impact figure. Take your seat, sir. Take your seat. A few words I will speak. You are created as a man that should make impact globally. That's why he said in Matthew 5 14, he said, Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. The people, Jesus said to them in Luke 40, Luke 24 49. Luke 24 49. Please help my daughter, help my son, help my son. Help my somebody help my boy for me. Luke 24 49. He said, Tarry ye in Jerusalem until he be endured with power from on high. And the people became inquisitive. They said, What kind of power are you talking about, Lord? And he replied them in Acts chapter 1, verse 7 and verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 7 and verse 8. My emphasis on verse 8. He said to them, He said, Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He said, Then you begin to witness me in Judea, in Samaria, in Jerusalem, and then on to the outermost part of the world. On to the outermost part of the earth. In other words, you are to make global impact. Unfortunately, instead of being a global impact, you are not even becoming a family impact yet. Your family is not aware that you are there. To the point that your little family, they are having meetings, they don't call you because you are a museum. How can I be created by God to have influence in the entire world and my family is neglecting me? Ah! 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 ah. I just came to charge you so that you can understand your composition and compartment by God. You need to understand your composition. How you are composed together. How God formed you. Ladies and gentlemen, he formed you to the point that the world, the world entirely is waiting for you. If you fail, the world have failed. Romans 8.19 For the earnest expectations of the entire creature they are waiting for the manifestations of who? Who is waiting? The entire world is waiting for you to manifest. The earnest expectation of the total creatures of God, they are waiting for the manifestations of the church. In America, they are waiting for you. In Europe, they are waiting for you. In Asia, they are waiting for you. All over the earth, they are waiting for you to do something. Ladies and gentlemen, if you fail, a nation has failed. How can I be created with this global quality and end up a local champion? Take your seat. Local champion. You bought one Riketi second hand fairly used to Kumbo Kotonu Togoka. Put one year, yes, just music inside, and you are disturbing the street. Some of you have not been able to buy that kind of even rickety something. You are wearing one, 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 one kind of year, yes, just coat, and nobody is resting in your street. Is that the impact you are making? The earnest expectations of creature, they wait for the manifestation. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't tell yourself the truth, you will die a local champion. Meetings like this are meetings where men should not miss it. <laughs> Although I, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy, but I'm happy because everybody can be rich. It's a choice. <laughs> oh, I have a seen that we need people that we carry shoes for us. We need cooks in the kitchen that we cook our food. Whether you like it or not. Hello? We need drivers. I love drivers. They can dress with pot belly, very big belly. Sit down inside another person moto with big belly. In the night, the man say, Pakam. 
when you finish packing it, you start going home with your big belly. What a name! today, there's a perception of poverty, the perception that the devil has fixed in your favor by the wisdom of the Almighty God. As God is going to be touching your mentality tonight, your influence will be going global. Amen. Take your seat, let me preach a bit. You are created. To have influence and affluence all over the world. That's why Jesus could not be contained in his time. Everything they did to stop him in one place, you can't stop him. All. One, of the, one of the time they gathered so much in one particular city, he said, no, I have already made impact here. I'm going to another place. I, I must go. I am sent to the world, not to these people alone. That's why no matter how anointed a man is, if you clamor for him to stay with you, you are wasting your time. He has assignment elsewhere. The world is waiting for him. The world is waiting for him. Can I prophesy to five people here? After this meeting tonight, the yes. grace to become an impact to the world. And save it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But let me go a bit further. Let me go a bit further. Yes. Let me go a bit further. They are the light of the world. Please let your mentality change. This local Wadata market mentality or modern market mentality must change. You have one small rickety shop in modern market. Nobody is resting. You are a failure already. You should be having a shopping mall in London. <laughs> Man, you are the light of the world. Hear the next statement. A city set upon. Eh? No. Why are you changing scripture with your poor local archaic mentality? Sit down. Let me teach you. The city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden. Unfortunately, many have hidden their self in Makoni. They are champion of modern market rule. They are champion of Wadata and they are comfortable. Everybody in Wadata knows your name. That's where you end your destiny. Where are you? It's like I know you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Have you been to Makoni before? You've been to Makori before? See, you've been to Makori. Did you go around anywhere they call Wadata? You didn't hear my name. <laughs> and the man talking is... Uh, what an error. A city set upon the hill. Makatolika Sukari Tabayata. Yes. The hill we are talking about is not Kilimanjaro. Yes, sir. It's not only the hill. It's not Mount Everest. We are talking about the hill that is higher than all the hills. Where you can stand and the whole world will see you. Yes, sir. I hear you. It's a place where you will stand that the whole world knows that you are there. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people in Makodi that they are calling them at Abuja. They are calling them in Enugu. They are calling them in Belgium. They are calling on them in America. They are calling on them in UK. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't have to head. You two can do it. Ah. Yes, sir. A city set upon the hill. If God put me on the hill, what am I doing in the valley? Valleys are always dark places. The only time you are permitted to enter the valley is when God wants to go and do miracle. Can I preach? Yes, sir. You are a city set on the hill, not in the valley. The only time you go to valleys, when you go to valley, you are going to do miracles. Ezekiel 37 verse 1, the Bible says, The hand of the Lord is upon me, and he carried me by the wings of his spirit. He took me to the valley, and in the valley there were dry bones, and the bones were very many, and they were very 
dry and the word of the Lord came unto him oh ye son of man can these bones live again and he replied the Lord thou Lord thou knowest and the Lord said yes you get it now go and prophesy to the bone and tell the bones to live again why did God carry Ezekiel to the valley he took Ezekiel to the valley to go and do miracle a valley is a place of dryness a valley is a place of complaining a valley is a place of scattering a valley is a place where things are dry what are you doing in the valley you are set on the hill yes sir God set you on the hill you took yourself to the valley the Lord said to me son anytime I take you to the valley I'm taking you to the valley to be a solution to people because in the valley the bones were dry and they were scattered Your life is not the valley life, it's a hill life. Listen to this prophecy. Listen to this prophecy. Give me this chair. Give me Bible. Somebody give me Bible. Quickly. Give me Bible. Leave it, leave it, sir. Leave it, sir. Leave it, sir. Look at me, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Wow. There's power here. Hallelujah. The power is about throwing me down. I don't know if I should stop and pray. <laughs> See what the Lord showed me. The Lord said, I created these people and put them on the hill. But instead of them being in the hill, they are in the valley here. There is no man standing at the valley that can see the top of the hill. Is it possible? No, sir. Is it possible? No, sir. That you can stand in the valley and see the top of the hill? Is it possible? No, sir. The reason why the church is myopic is because they are in the valley. They don't know their right. Yes. The church don't know the stuff that they are made of. Yes. They don't know the qualities and the characteristics, the heavy characteristics that God has bestowed upon them. They are in the valley. They can't see the top of the mountain. On the top of the mountain, there are miracles. There are blessings. Amen. There are finances. Amen. There are rests. Amen. There is peace there. Amen. There is serenity. Amen. There is tranquility. Amen. Everything you are desiring is on the top of the hill. Yes, sir. So God took you and put you on the top of the hill. But by your antecedents and character, you brought yourself to the valley. Right. And because you are in the valley now, you can't see the top of the hill where your miracles are. But see why the, the Lord called me here today. He said, my son, by a prophet, he took them from the valley. Somebody watch him. Yes. By a prophet, he took them from the valley. Amen. And he carried them up. Amen. And he took them straight to the hill. Amen. Where the whole world began to look for Israel. Amen. From today, hear me, hear me carefully. Yes, yes. From today, Amen. every valley that you have been inside, ah, the same way I carry this Bible from the valley to the yes, hill, Lord. I carry you by the Spirit of God. Amen. And I take you to the hill in the name of Jesus. Amen. On the hill here, hear me, on the hill here, Amen. all your miracles, all your blessings Amen. that you have been looking up to God for, you have been asking God for, that yes. is yet to come. Yes. Because you are here on the hill right now, those miracles are coming to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Your level is changing. Amen. Please please after this meeting if you get a call and they give you a house in George's quarters don't reject it Amen. it's not the bony it's because I have prayed yes sir after this meeting if they give you a Range Rover spot please take it don't be afraid yes. Amen. upon the hill that yes, cannot sir. be hidden.
Matthew 5 16 said something very unique. He said, Let your light shine. Is that what the Bible said? Yes, Is that what the Bible said? Go no, he said, Let your light shine. Is that what the Bible said? What did he say? Go Let your light what? Go Do you know the word? Do you know the meaning of the word? So let me explain it to you. Take your seat. <laughs> let your light so shine the word so simply means let your light not end up where you are let it travel very far let your light so let it go far let it not end in Makodi let it not end in Wadata here let it so shine that man not man Some of you, your impact is only within your family. Your mother, your father have six children. You can only pay one person's school fees. It's an iota that what you have is a matchstick light. Matchstick. Matchstick. I wish I bring some of these different, different kind of lights so that you can understand. If you put on the matchstick, shh, you only a few minutes. Your light is so small. It can only affect one person in the family. It can't even cover the entire family. And the light the Lord gave to you is not the light for family. It's not the light for community. It's not the light for your immediate society. He said, let the light so shine that men will see. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't allow your light to shine, it might cost you your heaven. This is where I'm going. It might cost you accessing heaven. I will give you two reasons. Many people may not go to heaven because their life here did not represent Christ. Their life is a shame to Christ. It's, 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 how do I put it? It's an insult on redemption. People see you. They are saying, hmm, if this one says they serve God, then me I can't serve God. They just look, people just look at you, size you up and say, if this one is a Christian, if this is what they call Christianity, then I won't serve. Because what the Bible says, I say, let, let your light so shine that men will see and they will glorify God, not you. In other words, when your light is shining, it is bringing glory to heaven. When your light is off, it is bringing shame to heaven. The reason why many people are not coming to church is because there is darkness in the church. Poverty everywhere. The world ain't see anything here. Can I speak American English? They ain't see anything here. I see by my spiritual eyes a time is coming. That when you are coming to church, you come to church with helicopters. Amen. Please say, brother, amen, if you are there. You are coming to church. You fly your chopper. Pa, 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 pa. Let them complain. Let your light so shine. The men will see and they will glorify God. Amen. Before when the light of the church was off. There was another day when we were growing up in the 80s. When we were growing up in the 80s. As little children, 1980, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, even up to 89, that adage was everywhere, as poor as the church runs. Thank God for men like Bishop Oyedeko. May God bless his generation. May God continue to honor his generation. That is the man that came to clear the perception that the church can have light again. Go and say it anywhere. As poor as church rat. No, church rats are not poor. They rat in our church in Mutemia. Come, let's go today. Let me show you one. If you see our rat, they don't drink me quite well. Then they buku 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 buku. All our rat, they be like a now. The other day I saw one rat in the church. When I saw the rat, I said, Kai, these rats are really enjoying. 
They are eating biscuit. They even live here who they are eating. It's on the floor everywhere. You know, before those days when we were growing up, in the 80s, when we were going to church, they give us five naira. That five naira, there's something they call. I've forgotten the name now, but they are still selling it today. They do it with um, coconut. They mix it with honey. What's the name of that? Term? They sell it. It's, it, it, it. There's one called Alewa. There's Alewa that time. I still remember Alewa in the 1980s. Then there's coconut, something, something they do. They mix it with honey. It's very brown. Church, that time, we go with five naira to church. You will buy that thing. If one of that thing drop, you carry them. Where you go see another one from? <laughs> So then with the advent of this thing they call hygiene even if the full one drop not to throw away the other day pure bliss filled everywhere in the church children didn't carry anyone from that i said ah, wait i've come to the church man mentality has to change so the future can become glaring Let your light so shine. I taught myself one truth. Anywhere I share, people get angry without fear of people. The more you get angry, the more God promotes me. There's nothing you can do. If you don't want to die, don't hate me. Hating me is a signature to your death. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Hating me, you are signing for your death. I was telling somebody, I said, look, look at, look, at, look at this foolish man. You want to fight someone like Dr. Enenche? You are talking bad about Enenche. You! The way you are. You, you are opening this smelly book of cavity. Don't talk about Paul Enenche. My God! I said, look, let me tell you two things that you will not forget in your life. If you don't want to kill yourself, just love him. There are people we love not because they are doing anything for us, but because we want to be free. <laughs> and because hating them will kill you. And someone like your nature, if you don't, if you hate him, don't put on television in your house. If you put on television, you go see him. If you hate your toilet, don't go out of your house because if you go out, you must see him on posters, people everywhere. Even if you decide to stay in your farm, don't put on your phone. If not, you will see him. Hello. <laughs> From tonight, you are entering that level. I say you are entering that level. In the name of Jesus. Now, take your seat. I said something very strong. I said, if your life is not lighted, you might miss heaven. I want to, yes. Wait, let me teach you. Let me teach you. You like it. Let me teach you. When you are not lighted, when your life does not give glory to heaven, on the last day, we tell you, I know you not. I will show you Bible. Wait. Many people thinking this poverty stricken mentality is a mentality that when God sees you, he will applaud you. All the friends that Jesus Christ had in the Bible, they were rich people. Beginning from Abraham, who is the friend of God. <laughs> Beginning from Abraham, who was the friend of God. The one that struck me was when they crucified Jesus. Nobody had access to the king. Except the man called Simon of Cyrene. A very wealthy man. A very wealthy man went to the king. Before you can have access to the king, you must be a wealthy man. He said, please give me the body of Jesus. Let me go and bury. Poor people, they do burial. They gave Jesus a burial in a tomb that nobody had been buried before. They gave him a befitting burial because a rich man was involved. Imagine they had buried Jesus in a fidgety manner. In a rickety manner, the rich man came up. Let me show you something. That if your light is off, you may not or will not enter heaven. In case you think that by your light being put off, you are representing Christ, you are wasting your time. Let me show you something. 
In Matthew 25, from verse 1 to 13, no time. I will read from verse 7. You will discover that when your light goes up, Christ will tell you, Go get the behind me, for I know you not. Matthew 25, from verse 1 to 13. The Bible said, He talked about the five foolish ones and the five wise ones. See, they were ten virgins. It's not that those ones they call foolish, it's not that they committed immorality. The only thing that made them foolish was because their light was off. Can I preach tonight? Can I preach today? The Bible said they were virgins, they were holy. So to say, they had holiness. They knew no man. They were still virgins. How can a holy person be foolish? A holy person will only be foolish when you have no light. A life without light is a foolish life. Put from verse 7 on the wall. Let me read some more Bible quickly. Let me close. I'm not preaching today. Matthew 25 from verse 7. The Bible says, All the virgins put amplified or NIV or any of them. Let me, let me read from that. Amplified NIV. Look at this. Everybody look at this. Put amplified. Go to verse. Uh -huh. Then all those virgins got up, put their own lamps in order. They put on their lamps. Put NIV. Put this thing. Remove this thing. Put Bible for me. Remove this one. Put NIV. Give me NIV. Give me NIV verse 7. Then all those virgins woke up and trimmed their light. They woke up. They put on their light. And they trimmed it. That's they reduced the light. Now go to verse 8. Look up. Verse 8, quickly, just go. The Bible said, The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our light is out. Our light is out. We are out of light. When the wise ones woke up, they put on their light. When the foolish ones woke up, they had no light again. So they went to bed for light. I love the reply. Look at that. Uh, what I'm telling you now is when your light is off, what you suffer on earth, it will even cost you in heaven as well. Follow me carefully. Follow me. Give us your light. And he said to them, no, we won't give you. So that if we give you, we will not have enough. If we give you our own, we go off. So that we'll become foolish like you. I know they give you. Go buy. Go and buy. Verse 10. That's where I want to teach from now. But while they were on their way to go and buy, the bridegroom arrived, number one. Anytime you have no light, you miss opportunities. Disadvantages of lack of light, number one. You lose opportunities. People come. They are helping others. They look at you. They jump you. They look at you. They jump you. Many people are asking, what is going on with my life? Why are they helping people? When it comes to my turn, nobody is helping me. It's because your light is out. As soon as they left, the opportunity showed up. The opportunity showed up. The opportunity showed up. As soon as they left, opportunities showed up. When your light is out, you lose opportunities. No time. Go ahead. Verse 10. Go, go, go. Quick, give me verse 10. Verse 10. I'm still on verse 10, please. Why they were on their way? They lost opportunity. The virgins who were ready went in with the wedding banquet and the doors was shut. Number two. Anytime your light is out, doors are closed against you. Let me explain what I mean by doors are closed against you. Many people don't know this. You go to ATM. You join queue one hour, two hours, three hours. When it is two people to you or three people to you, the same money don't finish. Una turn, you go another place. The same money don't finish. Or you, or you are driving and you are passing on the road. Police standing on the road. Everybody they are coming say they should pass. When they go to your own town, police say stop. 
You brought out paper, they say you never do. And you are asking, somebody saying a bad luck, follow me. No, no, be bad luck. Your light is out. Doors are closed against you. They are giving people jobs. You get to your turn. They say no. It didn't don't finish. The vet is winding and the doors were shut. Many people are listening to me. Your doors have been shut. Don't worry, I will open them for you today. You don't know. Peter went to went for business that day. A particular day, Peter went to do business. All the fish or fishes, when they see the net of Peter, they go dodge. No, fishes can be very tricky. Not even one went to his net. You see, when your light is out, everything is against you. Why people are counting their blessings now? There are people counting losses. Their light is out. All the fishes saw the net of Peter. They dodged the net. Ah, ah, Peter. Obine. How can my net not catch one? Because his light was out. But the day came. He met a man. Those who did theology, there's a course called Christology. <laughs> I, I, I don't like theology. I don't want to teach it. They've been begging me to come for masters and PhD so that they give me doctor in theology in Abuja. I said no. In the study of Christology, <laughs> don't mind me. You will discover that Jesus Christ is hundred percent God and hundred percent man. Hundred percent God and hundred percent man. That was why in Mark chapter six, from verse four, he was referred to as a prophet, not as God. They referred to him as prophet. The other day when Zacchaeus came to him, he called him Rabbi, teacher. Not God. He was 100% man and 100% God. That's what the study of Christology says. When Jesus walked to Peter, he only did one thing, commanded all the fishes to come. And Peter threw one net and the whole fishes came. I decree to you, after this service tonight, yes. the next net you will throw into the business environment, yes, the next work you are going to do, the next opportunity that you will have to do something, God will give you favor. Amen. That is only possible yes. when you meet a man Hallelujah. who carries something. Number three, when your light is off, put it on the screen, put it, Matthew 25, 11. Let me show you. I made a statement that many of you might be thinking. I want to, I want to show you that. The Bible says, and afterward also came the virgin saying, Lord, open the door to us. That time the door had been shut. Lord, open the door to us. This is likened to judgment day. Many Christians will get to the gate of heaven and keep knocking. Christ open the door to us. And they will get the same reply. Not because they committed sin, but because they refused to be wealthy. Do you know that the level where you are now is the choice you have made? Do you know this is your choice now? If you decide, you can go beyond this level today. I have said before you life and death, choose one. Life is a choice. God gave us body, soul, and spirit. In the soul, there is what we call emotion. There is what we call the thinking faculty. We call it IQ, intelligent quotient. From there, you can diagonize, dissect, think, and analyze anything you can become in life. Listen to me. Success in life, in life is not a function of mistake. There is nothing called luck in the business of life. 
every success is a conscious decision by the person to succeed nobody succeeded by mistake there is nothing called luck why most of you are work, looking for luck other people are looking for work success in life is a function of the work you do why others chose to go and read secretarial study or that chose to read business management a choice mm, mm, mm. can i preach in school there is what they call secretary study you are studying to be a secretary why in school there is another course called business management you are studying to be manager why the other person is studying to be your secretary the same school the same school fees choice Preach somewhere. I just taught some people somewhere. Some students, I spoke to them, small problems started. The same university. A course is called nursing, another one is called doctor. I'm studying to assist doctor as a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm only studying to assist the doctor. The same school, the same school fees. In fact, the same year. Nurses spent seven years to become a qualified nurse. Doctors spent seven years. I'm studying to assist. Life is a choice. That's where I'm going. This is where I am going. The same school fees, the same suffering, but different result at the end. Life is a choice. What choice have you made? What is your choice? Take your seat, let me preach one more and close. <laughs>
That's why one, one of the most holy church in Nigeria, before I don't call me, I know one trouble. I know one trouble. Eh? Lie plus lie is equal to lie lie. If you put the other last name, now you know. Somebody who have PhD in the telling of lies in Nigeria. Lie plus lie. You got to lie move if you put anything like you. As PhD in liology. He has studied lie, 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 lie to the point that he has PhD in liology. They have created a course for telling lies. Liology. Even if you see white, he will tell you he's black. He's a lie. Dead body take down. He said nobody died. We saw blood. He said no blood was spilled. Liology. We saw dead body clear. He came out and said nobody died. It was chicken. They were just roasting. Liology. Church don't study liology. I'll study. I, 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 I'll be preaching in Abuja. I think before this year runs out, the, the ministry is calling me. I want to go and do that so that I can teach some few things. We are in the last point, you know, to entering heaven now. Everything God has been speaking about is almost all coming to pass now. of men are already afraid now. Everything has come to pass. So the reason why the trumpet have not sound, we don't know. So every opportunity we have now, preach the truth. My only prayer is if God can quickly give us a television station so that we can quickly tell the world. Thank God for YouTube. Many people don't listen to YouTube. We are there every time. This message is on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Live. They were virgins, but the door was shut. Nothing they could do. I, I, I began to wonder what was the offense of these people. If you look at their offense, you will say it's late coming. Am I correct? If you look at it critically, people, if you activate your sense of imagination, you will discover that they were late to come. But why were they late? They went to look for light. Everything that caused their problem was traceable to light. And it was poverty. They would have carried enough light, enough oil. They didn't have money to buy. Poverty. You see how dangerous poverty will be? Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. What is the lamb that was slain? To receive wealth. Church, let me teach you this. Don't let anybody tell you that poverty, suffering is part of your redemptive package. It's a lie. What is the lamb that was slain? To receive power, to receive wealth, to receive riches, to receive glory, to receive wisdom, to receive everything. What I call it, the seven entitlement of redemption. May God help his church. Bow down your head.
in the light of that let me promise Mutamite that Sunday first service I will take this teaching on light Amen. because we didn't even go we didn't go anywhere at all I will tell you who can trigger your light and I will tell you what will happen when your light is put on I will tell you I will tell you from Acts chapter 12 there are many the church need to know this we wait on you Accept 
this offering from our hand. Amen. We give you this offering as a token. Amen. And as a sign of our Lord. Amen. As we give you this offering tonight, we Amen. drop suffering. Amen. We drop poverty. Amen. And we pick wealth. Amen. We pick holiness. Amen. We pick heaven. Amen. Even from the altar in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up on your feet, come to the altar. We
going to be a testimony meeting tomorrow. It's a testimonial meeting. Where everybody will be coming with their testimonies. If you are sick in your body, you will be healed now. Too. In Jesus' name. Come and have a prophetic handshake with me. Oh, yeah.